Miniature steam locomotives. How to prepare the engine for running on the track. I thought that I would make this special feature because this is video number 1000 on the channel. The video was filmed at the Thorns Park track in Wakefield, West Yorkshire, UK. And now I'd like to hand you over to my friend Phil from Blackgates Engineering to tell you what it's all about. Good morning, Keith. What we're going to do today is we're going to go through all the stages of preparing a steam engine from cold. That will involve sweeping the tubes, cleaning the smoke box, cleaning the ash pan, lighting the fire. We shall race steam and then we shall go on and test both the injectors and the safety valves. And if we're happy with all of that, then the engine is good to go. Here we have a special tool. This is stainless steel, laser cut and welded, and it just fits very nicely under the smoke box door so that when we open the door, Actually, there isn't much in there today, but we'll just break out what there is. This isn't exactly as per drawing, because on the drawing there are two lugs attached, here and here, and you have to screw the screw all the way off, because there's a hole in each lug. With this one, if you just undo them a little bit, that swings loose, like that, and then you can pull it out. There is the result of last time's steaming, and you'll see how the side of the ash pan has vanished altogether. It's burned away over the years. This is the fire grip from the engine, and as you can see it's quite badly burnt. It's been in there for a while. Here, by comparison, is a brand new one. I've always used fire grates like this on my engines. And now it's back to Phil for a quick, impromptu, ad-libbed advert. Here's a flue brush, available from Blackgates Engineering. So we'll sweep the tubes. This is the result of the ashes that's gone over the front of the ash pan while it's been steaming. It's that way around, of course. And all that lot have gone down the front. That's the result of it. That goes in there. Underneath this piece of plate, we have a blowdown valve here, which empties the boiler. So there is some water in the boiler. I suspect there isn't much. We will put some water in. Open the blowdown valve and turn the hose pipe on. And the next thing we want to do before we put a fire in it is to make sure that it won't move off by itself. So we make sure the regulator is closed. There's the regulator. The engine's in mid-gear and the drain cocks are open and the brakes on. After we've raised steam, the engine won't move off of its own accord before we're ready. We'll just check that it works which it does. So we're ready to light up. These are paraffin soaked sticks in an easy flow tub. So they will light instantly. As Phil had gone to make some tea, I thought it was a good idea to check the fire and it definitely needed some coal on. While we were making this video, there was much activity all around us. Here's one of the large narrow gauge engines pulling a few passengers. Inevitably, Phil soon returned with a couple of cups of tea, which was very nice. One each, of course, not two for me. In this clip, Phil is adding some water treatment to the water in the tank because the boiler is made from steel and water treatment helps to prevent corrosion. It's gonna go. While waiting for the water to boil, it's a great time to oil up the engine. And this is actually the very last bit of the oiling procedure. 
now we've got steam, we don't need that. But I will let cold air run through it a couple of minutes just to cool it off and the adapter. And then turn on the engine zone blower. As this is a commercial light railway that pulls passengers, we don't want the passengers to get covered in oil residue and soot from the chimney. So Phil has this special tool for cleaning out all the oil residue from the chimney. In a few more minutes, the steam in the boiler will reach working pressure and it will be time to pull the passengers. This is quite a good gadget that Phil uses on his engine. It's a smoke deflector that just deflects the smoke to the side so it doesn't go in your face along with the soot and the cinders and the ash. Later on in the day I had a drive and went round the track two or three times on this engine and it made a real change not to get lots of ash in my eyes as I was driving it. Phil's first of all going to pick up some passenger trucks and then he'll be picking up some passengers in the station. And in this clip, the engine is making light work of all these passengers. It's capable of pulling a lot more people than this. One of the club members suggested that if I sat on the rear passenger truck of the train he was pulling, facing backwards, I could get some really good shots of Phil's engine running towards me, which was easier said than done. And at the speed he was going, I nearly fell off the truck a couple of times and I didn't get too many very stable shots. My thanks go to Phil Owen of Blackgates Engineering for his help in the making of this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.